Welcome back. Now in this section, we will see a sample SAP UI5 application, which is having the new components and files and um, why the files are there. What are the new files and uh, what are the different segments of this application? So let's get started with this. Now, if we see this simple application, now this application is uh, the app with a app router. So I have created this application for the purpose of deploying into SAP cloud platform. So it has a app router and it has a HTML5 module. So this is, so you can also see that, okay, I have mentioned, okay, this is app router and here, this are the, all the components for this HTML5 application. Now, before we start talking about individual files, let's first say, okay, why this particular module is required. Okay, so let's start with app router. So the app router primary job is to provide routes. And um, as the name already gives it out, okay, that's a router. Router of what? Router based on the routes, which is your URL, you can be navigated into different apps, so I can go to app one or app two, or uh, I can also with the URL go to a gateway service or maybe some OData service destination. So this, now what are the modules in this app router? So when we talk about the modules, first let's talk about this package adjacent. This is the important file in our app router. So the package.json primary job is to have dependencies. So we have this dependencies and to have the script to start and test. So these two things it has the package or JSON. So let's look into a simple example. And here what we have with us is uh, our application which we were showing in the image. So demo sample two, which we were talking about. So now if I go inside this app router, so let me open this packet or JSON and uh, also the access app or JSON. And uh, I'm going to arrange this side by side. So we see both the content together. So to do that, you can just drag this particular file into the next parallel screen and it will basically work. So it is quite easy, but you have to basically leave the particular files after you have dragged once you get the desire outline, how you want to put it. And uh, we have opened two main files. One is uh, your package JSON, and the second is access app.json. Now, if you look into what are the scripts under the hood, let me just arrange this. So all the commands are properly visible to us. And um, in case you have this issue, then what you can do, you can also bring it down. So at least from a vertical angle, I'm going to see all the things. Yeah, this is what you have. Okay. So the first thing which you will see, okay, this is the name is app router, which is something which is understood description engine. Now, what is Node.js? Node.js is nothing but your runtime environment. So many of time you say, okay, Node.js is library package and everything else, but Node at its core will be considered as a runtime environment. So what kind of runtime environment it provides you? Node basically based on the version has different runtime environment, but you have your browser and the browser can run JavaScript code. And similarly, you have this Node.js and Node.js has a JavaScript environment. And this JavaScript environment is basically can also be referred as a JavaScript engine, which can run your JavaScript code. So that is what Node.js is. And this particular app router will support eight and 10. So that is the two main version of the node, which this particular app router will support. Now, if you have uh, six, then it will not support. So that, that is what it is. Now you see also here a cap sign. So both in the eight and uh, 10, you see this cap sign. Now what they signify is this cap sign basically signifies compatible. So this is com compatible. So whatever version of node you have, the app router will require the node version, which is compatible to node eight and compatible to node 10. So if you have node 13, then if 13 is backward compatible, then the app router will work this particular app router because this app router is having version eight and version 10. So if you run it and your node.js version is version 13, then this particular app router will work in case the 13 is backward compatible with eight and 10. So that is what this engine is.
Now, when we talk about dependency, so there are two types of dependency. One is just the dependency and the other is the dev dependency. Now, what is the difference between these two? So what you can basically see this as the dev dependency is when at the time of development of the application, you need certain libraries or components. So you can see the name that the dev dependency is at the rate SAP slash HTML5 repo mock. And this particular library version is what is compatible to 1.60. Now this library, if you go inside, you will find that particular library inside the node module. So if I go and open this node modules and uh, now let me see SAP and uh, we have this at the rate SAP and inside this particular folder, you will have uh, HTML5 repo mock and this is independently an app in itself. So it have your index.js and server.js and uh, a lot of other dependency it will also have. So this particular module is required for app router at the time of development when you are basically mocking the cloud platform environment. If you watch closely the index file, which we will do now, if I open this index.js, 